Hello there! This is your evil twin, welcoming you back to Let's Play Inversion. Here we can see Davis and Leo climbing up out of the ruins of the library. That's where he left them last time. Funny how two guys with anti-gravity backpacks do an awful lot of tough climbing and heavy lifting. Okay. Okay, your turn. Oh, come on, let's go. Thanks. Good to get a break. If you're in Vanguard City, be sure to check out Kingston Street Mall. Some uh, nice places to visit, like your style fashion. And, uh, oh yeah, the Vanguard Hotel. And the huge gravitational anomaly. Also meat. Fresh meat. Yeah, these weapon boxes actually have a picture of the assault rifle on them, though uh, without the huge bayonet. Last time, we got the manipulation ability, so we can now grab and throw objects. For science! Eee, it does float. So, um, yes, uh, it's not just scripted, you know, all that debris floating there. Uh, they did actually make a proper zero gravity zone. I don't know, I think I'm more impressed with the parking job they did of this car here. Oh shit, watch out! Nah, just kidding. This isn't that sort of apocalypse. Boots me up. <sighs> Shit, watch it. See, told you. They did a terrible job parking that bus. The car was much better. Which way, D? Well, that way clearly leads to a fight with some lutadors. I actually restarted the chapter to try out both routes, and uh, that's why I no longer have the auto rifle that I picked up in the previous chapter. Um, restarting the chapter gives you a sort of standard loadout, so I've got the assault rifle and the sniper rifle. Strange that there's no people left here. Where did they take them all? It's prison camps. They use us as workers. I just wonder why they need to dig at all. Maybe they're looking for something. You know, an underground city or. <laughs> I like these bits where Davis and Leo theorise about stuff. But, uh, if we'd taken the other route, we actually wouldn't have gotten this conversation. We'd have been on that walkway there, and the Lutadors would have immediately seen us and opened fire. And what's also nice is that um, Leo won't shoot unless the enemies see us. Uh, that allows us to be stealthy. This is a... Uh, Perfect sniper position. But, um, I think I'd rather attack these guys head on and uh, try out some things with the grav link. <laughs> 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 this 
This should help. <laughs> oh, good try, Leo. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Careful, David. This one's tough. Yes, uh, since we can now uh, grab and throw floating objects, um, well, that does include enemies. <laughs> Give me a boost. Look what we got here. Yeah, although um, if you restart a chapter, it doesn't keep track of what weapons you had. It does keep track of how many Gravelink upgrades you found. So, um, yes, we've just found another one, and now we've got six energy bars. But, uh, yeah, there's some uh, weapon crates here, but uh, it's a bit of a moot point, really. With uh, six bars of Graveling energy, um, bullets are more of a backup option. Hmm, mm, interesting. Huh, got a chunk of floating skyscraper up there. Davis, what do you think about this guy Banks? He's gonna help us find Layla. That's all we need to know about him. I, uh, I don't know. He doesn't seem to know that much about the Ludadors. We'll see what he can do soon enough, I guess. Sure, what that says. Here we go. <coughs> huh. He, uh, he oh. fell from the uh, fight that we had up there. Here they come! <coughs> okay, some enemies, and got an auto rifle. There we go, that's better. Oh cool, he's clinging on. <laughs> Whoa! Surprise attack from up on the walls! <laughs> Grenade 
Good job, Leo. Boost me up. This should help. Hey, Davis. You know, I never really thought about why you helped me get on the force. It wasn't exactly a good Samaritan. People can change if you help them to. Yeah. You know, you're right. I'm doing good now. That's thanks to you. Well, the loading screens normally have gameplay tips. Uh, they do sometimes have story info. And uh, one loading screen says that uh, Davis was part of a task force um, trying to get people out of gangs. And uh, another loading screen says that Leo um, had a uh, troubled childhood. He, uh, he, tr tr uh, he had troubles with the police and uh, he used to be in a local gang. So um, I suppose that uh, Davis turned Leo's life around and that's why Leo is so loyal to us. Also, sassy twins! <laughs> Whoa. I just can't get used to this. So yeah, we're now walking up uh, nice. the side of a building and we've got the tops of skyscrapers floating um, over there. Ah, <laughs> that was great. Oops, missed. Whoa! Got a laser there, got a sniper. Ooh, nice one there. Hey, you got that one good! Look at this! <laughs> Look at this. I think the ceiling's going to become the floor. And yeah, although uh, the game won't let us go over here, uh, not sure why, it's just a waste eye wall, but um, yeah, although we can't go over there, they bothered to do a, uh, a vector change conduit to explain how the sniper got over there. It's a nice detail. Better be quiet. No need to warn them. Experiment for science.
just want you to put our feet back on the ground. Looks like we're almost there. Old Fax and his guys are still alive. Hey guys, looks like my get out of prison card came in handy, eh? Let's go! How did you manage to escape? When you guys started shooting the place up, they seemed to have forgotten about me. I was already down in that hole when you guys blasted it shut. Come on, let's go! So, um, yeah, we thought um, he had uh, sacrificed himself. Cool. Okay. Things are getting pretty serious. Target for this rocket launcher is that uh, turret over there. Let's take them out on a blast of Oh, good job, Leo. Splattered one of them and uh, knocked the other guy over with a shockwave. There was uh, an explosion on the left there. That's the enemy mortar. And the, um, the left hand side of the battlefield is uh, bombarded by mortar pits. <laughs> oh, there was another mortar hit. Oof. I wasn't hiding behind that car. Ah, oh, damn it. That's going quite well. I'm uh, dangerously close to where the mortar attacks, but uh, I think I'll just have to risk it. That car blowing up should take him out. Hoping the mortar doesn't do strikes over here. Could be proven horribly wrong. Okay, that's the turret taken out. Yeah. 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 
always makes me happy to pick up one of these heavy machine guns. Come on and help me here. The heavy machine gun uh, clips completely through that uh, shutter. Notice the completely straight... Oh! Yeah, grenade path is completely straight due to uh, zero gravity. <laughs> Let's go check this way. It might lead us to the mortar. Uh, something to... There we go. Site, we're almost there. Hold on. We're trying to. Hurry up. to regroup with the others. Hey guys, good to see you again. Leo, Russell, nice work. We owe you one. Yeah, we'll remember that. Where are we going now? We're heading out of the city to get to the enemy camp. You ready to show us the way? Yeah, we got the camp location. East of the city. Except we know where we're reaching. All right then, let's focus on getting the hell out of here.
Ah, we've got enemies with shields now. Oops. Ah, oh, got me. Yes, took out that shielded guy. Uh oh. Get a second chance, and that is something we are definitely going to need. Give it a whirl. Nice. Now back to work. I want a path cleared ASAP. We're sitting ducks out here. Come on, Russell. Clear the street. We can't wait forever. Look, we need to get the hell out of here. You want to give me the grappling? <laughs> so yes, apparently this upgrade is called variable manipulation, and it lets us do uh, big objects like cars. There are energy pools here, so no shortage of graveling energy. Oh, <laughs> I've got one bullet for my machine gun.
Yeah, enemy with a shield. I doubt a shield can block a car. No, it cannot. Uh, bear moth there. Behemoth, however you want to say it. Oh, another couple of guys with shields. <laughs> mm, this cover has uh, seen better days. I love how uh, what used to be a mini boss is now just uh, just the same as any other enemy and uh, splattered uh, splattered in moments. Destroying that quickly, and doesn't get a chance to spawn any enemies at all. And, uh, that's it. Yep, here goes. <laughs> I think I saw. Oh, I don't, I don't want to swap my auto rifle. I want to. Yeah, there we go. There is actually an option to turn off gameplay hints. Some of them are a bit obvious. On the other hand, given that last time we had to flank around a turret, it might not occur to some people to try uh, chucking something at the turret. Oh, this is nice. Don't even think that way. Keep looking for her until we find her. See over here? Ha! This should help. Let's uh, swap this. Yeah, it's got more ammo. Brilliant. What have we got over here? Choice of auto rifle or assault rifle, grenades, and ammo. Come on, let's get to the street. Oh, yeah! Time for some more zero G combat. Take cover! We're under attack! We're on the right path! Huh, ah, knocked his helmet off and exploded his head. Helmets protect them from being instantly headshotted. Time shift is the same thing. Let's see where they're coming from. Come on. Dismembering is so much fun in zero gravity. Oh, 
Guess he got tired easily. Um, disorientating. We need to take that out before the overpass is destroyed. Let's destroy the mortar, D. There's not much time left. If you um, go for the mortar first, I think the explosion kills everyone anyway. But uh, that's uh, that's no fun doing it that way. We need to take out that mortar. Uh oh! No! Eh, <sighs> phew. Over here! Let's go! Thanks. Yeah. That's three times you've saved our asses. Well, let's go find that chair. Join me for the next part of Let's Play Inversion, where we'll be attacking the main camp of the Lutadors. <laughs>